Welcome to the final two scenes of Don't Worry Darling. Florence Bue plays Evelyn. Chris Pine plays Dr. Anderson. This is an earlier draft written by the Van Dyke brothers. Enjoy. Hint. Hospital room, day 1954, where Evelyn's eyes open. Her POV, a blurred figure sitting in front of her. Slowly coming into focus, Dr. Anderson. On Evelyn, as reality comes rushing back in. She jolts up, realizes she's lying in a hospital bed. Hooked up to IVs. Her body stitched up. Her wrists and ankles shackled to the bed in leather straps. Evelyn, where am I? 89. Dr. Anderson, you're in the hospital. You lost a lot of blood. She looks around the room, noticing it's still 1954. Evelyn, realizing, I'm back in the simulation. Dr. Anderson, Mrs. Peterson. Evelyn, how did I get here? Dr. Anderson, Evelyn. Evelyn, how did I get here? Dr. Anderson, you came in an ambulance two days ago. Your neighbor Betsy found you. Evelyn pauses, taking it in. Dr. Anderson, Conti, you were bleeding to death on your kitchen floor. Pauses, next to your husband. A beat. Dr. Anderson, Conti, do you remember what happened? She looks at him, at the leather straps. Evelyn, why am I strapped down? Anderson sighs. Reaches into his briefcase and comes up with a series of BMW photographs. Of Clifford. Lying in a pool of blood on their 1950s kitchen floor. No electrodes on his head. No futuristic furniture. Dr. Anderson, you stabbed him to death with a screwdriver. 90. Evelyn stares at the pictures. It doesn't make sense. Evelyn, that can't be, I'd escaped, I was out of the simulation. Anderson sits back. He'd expected this much. Dr. Anderson, you mean alt life. She looks at him sharply. Ah, H.A. Dr. Anderson, Kant D, Betsy told me all about it. The year 2050, the secret society, all of it. Anderson pushes one of the photos closer. It shows Clifford's face stabbed to smithereens. Dr. Anderson, Kant D, I assure you, this was no simulation, Mrs. Peterson. Evelyn looks at the picture, then at Anderson. Evelyn, you're part of this. Dr. Anderson, Evelyn. Evelyn, you plugged me back into the Neuralink unit. Dr. Anderson, stop it. Evelyn, why kill me when you can continue to play God, is that it? Dr. Anderson, stop it. Caring, Evelyn, can't you see what's happened? You've gone insane. You murdered your husband. No. She won't believe it. 91. Dr. Anderson, think about it, Evelyn. You're bright. Tell me what's reasonable, that you're trapped inside a computer simulation, and that your real body is lying in a machine in the year 2050. Or that you've suffered a psychotic break from reality over the stress of your marriage. Evelyn, no. Dr. Anderson, you felt you were being imprisoned. Forced into the role of a housewife. A mother. Shackled up day and night inside that house. This fucking bastard. Dr. Anderson, Kant D. So you dreamed up a world where women were empowered, a fantasy world where women were no longer expected to stay in the kitchen. A world where they can be free. Where you could be free. He slides over the pictures of her dead husband. Dr. Anderson, Kant D. All you had to do was kill your captor. Evelyn's certainty starting to crumble. She shakes her head. Evelyn, no. Clifford, he admitted to it, he said we had a marriage in 2050. Dr. Anderson amen saying what he had to in order to keep from being sodomized, I imagine. Offer look, they found the broomstick. Evelyn speechless. 92. Dr. Anderson, Kant D, Evelyn, I convinced them to let me speak with you first. But if you tell them the same story you're telling me, they won't just lock you away. They'll lobotomize you, Evelyn. Evelyn trying to process it all. And it's terrifying. Dr. Anderson, Kant D, now tell me. Last chance, what year is it? Her eyes finally rise to his. A horrifying realization. Evelyn, it's 1954. Finally. Evelyn, Conti, I murdered my husband. Indeed she did. Her eyes well with tears, Evelyn, Conti, I murdered my Clifford. And she breaks down crying. Dr. Clifford, hey, hey, hey. He moves closer to her. Lays a hand on her shoulder. Dr. Clifford, Conti, I'm going to help you in any way that I can. She looks in his eyes, appreciative. Evelyn, you. She tilts her head, Evelyn, Conti, fucking liar. And she lurches forward and takes a bite out of his cheek. Anderson screams, trying to pull loose. 93. The door comes flying open. Two police officers and an orderly storm the room and pull Dr. Anderson away from Evelyn. She comes away with a chunk of his cheek and spits it out. Evelyn, Conti, let me the fuck out of here. They pin her down as another doctor races in, Dr. Holder. And injects her with a syringe. We go close on Evelyn, a caged animal, as her eyes eventually roll back into her head. And we fade to black. EXT, psychiatric ward, day we're in the beautiful outdoor courtyard of a psychiatric unit, where among the other patients mulling about, we find Evelyn. Sitting on a bench in patient garbs. A far cry from the vibrant woman we once knew. A vacant, mindless stare. Betsy, OS, Evelyn. Reveal Betsy, her picture-perfect self, in front of Evelyn with a bouquet of flowers. Here to visit. Betsy, Kant D, they're from my garden. Fresh as rain. But Evelyn doesn't even acknowledge the flowers. Or Betsy. Betsy at a loss here. Betsy, Kant D. Anyhow, I've just been feeling so terrible about everything that happened. And the flowers were the best she could come up with. Still nothing from Evelyn. 94. 
Betsy, Conti, D, all right, then, I'll have the nurse put them in some water for you. What else is there to say? Betsy, Conti, D, bye bye now, Evelyn. I'll come back and see you real soon, okay? She leans in like she's going to kiss Evelyn on the cheek, but instead, whispers into her ear, Betsy, Conti, D, I did what you told me to. You were right, Evelyn. I'm so sorry. There's an exit portal through the doorway behind me. She pulls away, all smiles again, and for the first time, Evelyn locks eyes with her. Betsy winks. Then she moves off, leaving Evelyn a view of, a door across the courtyard. Life in Evelyn's eyes again. They flick from the door to a nearby orderly with his back to her, then back to the door. And she stands. She starts towards the door. Slowly. Eyes trained on it. The door. Ten feet away. Five feet. Evelyn glances over at the orderly his back to her still. She continues to the door. Reaches it. Freedom beckoning her. On the other side of it. She stands in front of it a moment. Then she reaches for the knob, and she turns it. A blinding flash. And we jump to black. The end. So what do you think about the final two scenes of Don't Worry Darling is written by the Van Dyke Brothers? Post your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.